All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back with Criminal Case World Edition. I have with me... Jonathan. Yep, he's back. He's going to be asking me some questions at the end of this video. Uh, for this video in particular, I wanted to show you guys Carmen Martinez, our elite force detective. She's going to be four years old from Baltimore, USA. She was a, in her past profession. She was an investigative journalist. Traits are fearless, thorough, and untrusting. Dig a little deeper, and we'll get to the bottom of this. Just so, a correction there, Ace. It's 40, not 4. Oh, okay, yeah. She, yeah, she does look a little older than 4. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she looks like she's a very serious individual. She almost looks like Andrea's uh, sister or something, just in the way that she's so serious about it. I'll be curious as to where she's going to fit in. My guess is that she's going to be one of our partners, but I do not know. What are your yeah, thoughts? Uh, yeah, I was following the idea that she might be one of our partners or something like that. She doesn't look like one of the team members back in the office. But with yeah, the... she looks like she looks a little bit more like a foot soldier. Um, but again, the the cool thing about uh, Criminal Case World Edition is we are going to be traveling all over the world, so. There could be something, there could be new clues that we're doing. There could be a whole bunch of stuff that we're not really aware of that they're going to be introducing. So maybe she's a, maybe she helps us with investigations in terms of uh, hitting the ground like Ramirez did, doing undercover work. I don't know. But more advanced than Ramirez. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she, she definitely <laughs> does not look like a costume type person, that's for sure. Gonna miss that crazy little pineapple guy. Yep, I, I do miss the pineapple guy. Um, but anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Jonathan has some questions that he'd like to ask me. I have not uh, rehearsed them, so go ahead and I will answer them to the best of my knowledge. Right. Since the Pacific Bay just ended, I figured we'd do a little Q&A, see how your thoughts are on Pacific Bay and how it compared to Greensboro and whatnot. Okay. So let's just get started. First question is, overall, what did you think about Pacific Bay? Uh, personally, I thought that it was better than Grimsboro from an artistic point of view. The, the cases themselves, everyone was very vibrant. It was fairly simple to find everything. It wasn't as difficult. In Grimsboro, you had the first district and then you had the historic district. All of those districts were kind of difficult to find stuff in. Um, so for me personally, I liked just the ambiance of it. Now, I don't think anything will ever beat uh, Chief King, just because Chief King, uh, this is the first time that any of us had kind of played the game, and the fact that, that he ended up uh, coming to an end like he did was just shocking. Right. Uh, the kind of portrayal of Frank, we kind of all knew that something was going to happen to him, uh, right. So it wasn't as, as I guess, shocking. But in terms of like art direction and overarching story where all of the places kind of interconnect, done way better than Grimsboro. Mm -hmm. I got to agree with you there. One thing that I like about Pacific Bay is it wasn't just, hey, there was a murder, let's go investigate it. Every single case, we stumbled upon a murder. Yeah. And so, they also did something cool where each additional investigation actually meant something. Right. In the first one, the additional investigation was really just to wrap up that specific case, but it never really led to the next case. In this one, there was always an overarching story with each district that really kind of made you want to explore more or leave a little teaser, and that was just great. And then they even gave them names like Map to the Stars. Yep. Hollywood Confidential, the end. Yep. Oh, I think that wraps up the first question. Second question, um, you started Pacific Bay more than a year ago, and when you started it, what were your predictions that what would happen? I had very little predictions in terms of what I thought was going to happen. Um, of course, it started off with a bang where they included me as what ended up being a murderer uh so that was really cool i was really just looking for something that made each district unique 
I didn't really know what was going to happen. I was kind of thinking that they would do something like Grimsboro, but they really didn't. I mean, they made every district its own central, but it also went to different districts. The other thing they did was each person on your team ended up having like their own district, quote unquote. Um, you know, Jan was part of Jazz Town. Uh, White Peaks was Amy. Hannah Amy, had Inner City. Anna, Hannah had Inner City. So to me, that was awesome. That's something that I never would have expected or even would have maybe even asked for. But they did, and it really made each district mean that much more. Right. I follow, and now this is one that even the fans can ask. What was your favorite case in Pacific Bay? Oh, well, I mean, I have to be a little selfish in that I love the first case. Uh, I knew you'd say that, Ace. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the first case is just the best just because it has Trevor Finn in it. Um, aside from that, if I didn't, if I didn't, wasn't, um, biased, biased in that regard, it would be the one where we found out who, I forget what the alien's name was. Uh, it was Randolph. Her, Ralph Randolph Randolph Randolph, the Randolph thing, that story arc and that final one was just, I, I personally really liked it. I thought it wrapped it up very, very well. And I really liked helping out the little guy. Right. My favorite case has to be Blood in the Blender. Starting off right at the beginning with oh. that shocking crime scene. They yep. get clones. Yep. You get a clone roof co- coming in. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, I, that one's definitely in probably the top five for me. Mm-hmm. All right. The next one is probably what most fans enjoyed watching you play these. Your mo- The moment that surprised you the most or the moment you didn't expect. Because I know several fans remember flipping French toast or the O Nikes moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, there were a lot of them in this. Uh, you know, the any time I think the the biggest reaction that got out of me, because I kind of knew from talking to the developers, because I did know one of the art directors that I was going to be included. So that was really cool. But the first time Ramirez popped his head back. That was the oh snap moment for me. Right. Because I I, I want to say that that had to have been like case 23 or it was, it was a lot, it was a lot into the thing. And I know that I had been asking for Ramirez for a while. And I know a lot of people have been asking to get, see some people from Grimsboro. So that first initial reaction of, you know, Ramirez is back just was so much fun for me because he saved my life three times um you know mostly with the frying pan but he does save my life a lot so i gotta owe i got owe my life and my career to that guy you were close it was case 13 eastern promises okay 13 i I knew it was i knew it was after the first district right yeah inner city yep i think the my favorite most surprising moment for you was the osh nikes moment when hannah shot frito Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. And again, for the, those of you guys who are watching this, you know, don't spoil it for other people because a lot of times I don't read your guys' comments till after I finish. And the reason that I get those oh Nike moments and like oh snap and French toast moments are because I don't read your guys' comments and I don't go for spoilers. So you're getting genuine reaction out of me when I, when I play through the game. So the more that these people spoil, the less fun it's going to be. So if you guys are one, most of the people that are watching this aren't going to be the people that spoil. But if you ever do see someone that spoils and you're frustrated, just report their comment. Um, I try and hide them after I after I complete uh, chapter three. I go back and I hide all the ones where they basically uh, ruined it. But it is sometimes hard for me to keep up with that. Right. And most surprising moment now transitions to what was your favorite moment in all of Pacific Bay? My favorite moment, again, it's beating a dead horse, but either Ramirez coming back, Mm -hmm. um, uh, Randolph being kind of displayed, um, or really being able to see kind of, oh, and I mean, Trevor Finn coming back. You know, that was kind of cool. But really, it was those two. Randolph, that, that was one of my favorite story arcs. I really liked um, I really liked that area, and I loved Randolph. And I totally didn't think he was an alien. I thought it was too obvious. And then they included Men in Black. And 
I'm a huge sucker for Men in Black. I love the movies. I really love the first one. So that kind of got to me on that one. Right. I got to agree with you there. The final investigation of Ryan Canyon, right when little alien Randolph appeared, everybody was like, what? Yep. Oh, Men in Black. I love, I love how the game references several movies. I think at some point you start like, all right, what movie are they referencing now? Yep. They do a lot of pop culture references. I mean, a lot of the characters are modeled after other people. Um, you know, for instance, the one that I can think of off the top of my head was uh, Greta was very similar to, oh, the fashion critic. Joan Rivers? Joan Rivers, yeah. They look identical. <laughs> I think I've even seen some videos on YouTube of people actually comparing the characters from Criminal Case yep. to the re their real-life counterparts. Yep, definitely, definitely. So that's that's always been something fun. I'm really excited. Um, as we go through this, you're going to probably see some of our teammates that you can kind of see. You know, Roxy takes a lot from the uh, forensic people that you see on uh, TV shows such as CSI, uh, NCIS, um, Criminal Minds. You know, she has that type, type of vibe. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, compared to Grimsboro, what did you think of, like, the new murder methods and crime scene? I mean, Grimsboro, it was cool, but it seems like they were just a stabbing every other case. And in Pacific Bay, we had... Like two decapitations, several dismemberments, eaten by rats. Yep, you had clones. I mean, it, again, it was it was a lot different. It was really cool. I loved the variation. It was also cool when you went through these murder investigations for it not always to be a male. <laughs> it's <laughs> it seemed like when you go to Grimsboro, the males were usually the people that killed, and if it wasn't, it was the females because their husband cheated on them. Um, so they kind of did the same formula, at least it appeared to me in Grimsboro, whereas in Pacific Bay, they really upped the ante in terms of motive and what the real motive was. Right. Now, I think you already answered this at the very beginning, but compared to Grimsboro, how did you feel about this city's final district and end case and ending? Uh, oh, this one was much better than why Chief King ended up you know, killing himself. I thought that the f case 51, I think it's, it all ends here in Grimsboro was by far one of the most shocking cases, but in terms of like last district and really wrapping everything up and tying everything in Pacific Bay did a, it did a much better job with uh, the waste. Mm -hmm. And interesting enough in the waste, every person who was murdered and every single suspect was from previous cases. Yep. I mean, David Rosenberg, Karen Knight, Frank Knight, and Alden. Alden Green comes all the way back from Greensboro. That's right. And that was cool, too. All right. And that's all the questions I had for Pacific Bay. Now the questions of what are you expecting in the world for the next city? What do you hope will happen? Slash, what do you hope for? I'm just hoping for a worldwide, I'm hoping for them to really incorporate everyone because I know personally from the people that watch my videos, I, I get people watching my videos in over 200 countries. So I know that there's a lot of people that play criminal case kind of all over the world. So for them to be able to go to each country and kind of highlight, you know, something about that country so that people like myself who've maybe never been there will know certain things. Now, sneak peek, uh, I will be posting a video covering the teaser for the next case, which is London. Um, there's a big bend in the background and it's cool things like that that I really hope that they, you know, kind of do to where you can see even in here, you can see, you know, Africa and stuff. I'd like to see maybe cultural things and um, cultural, you know, like Stonehenge or something like that. A bunch of stuff around areas to where not only is this a fun game, but it's like a learning game. Kind of reminds me of a where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where you uh, kind of yeah. learn more about the world as you play. Oh, uh, hey, Carmen. Yep. And and you know what? <laughs> By the way, I'll bet you that that might be where this comes from. Mm, seems like a suitable reference. I mean, I, I just thought of it right now, but I'm trying to think of where they got the name from. And I'm thinking Carmen. They haven't really used 
where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And uh, that could this could definitely be where their name kind of pulled from. Right. So for the world, where do you hope they'll go? I said, I know you just said in the teaser that the first place is London. Yep. And you can see a few where these cases are located, but where yep. do you a specifically I, hope they'll go? I hope that they hit up every like country. I hope you know the Philippines watch my videos like crazy. Um, you know, I want Thailand. I, I really want a lot of Asia to be able to go. I love South Africa and even North Africa, like where Egypt is. Um, but Africa is really cool. The whole European countries are always very fabulous. They're going to have a lot of uh, scenery for that. I know South America is really cool. Um, I'm hoping, now we didn't see it here, but I'm hoping maybe Antarctica is some place that we go. You can see right here that it's kind of covered. I almost wonder if, if that's maybe the additional like world. I don't know, but it would be really cool if they kind of incorporated Antarctica. You can kind of see one place right here, uh, but you know we'll, we'll see when it comes to that. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Heck, I just got back from Germany, so I hope they do something around there. Yep, that would be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So, as everybody's speculating in the last the last initial investigation, Jack Archer mentioned somebody is wanting to meet you. Yes. Who do you think it's going to be? I don't know. I, I'm Again, I really hope it's Ramirez. Uh, but from what I've been talking with a lot of people... It, I, I'm going to lean more towards, I think it's actually Jones. Um, I think that Jones, in my estimation, for whatever reason, he did such a good job taking over Grimsboro that the FBI included him, and he is now either a chief or he's someone important, and there's going to be some way that they're going to incorporate him. I do think it's going to be someone from Grimsboro, not necessarily Pacific Bay, um, but from... Other than that, I've, I've tweeted out to Criminal Case. I'm hoping to get a response from them. I don't want a spoiler. I just want to say, with that comment that Jack made, does that mean that there's somebody that we... Is it somebody that we've worked with before? That's all I want to know. Hopefully they answer it. If they do, I'll definitely be responding in one of these, one of these videos. Yeah, I know some people might argue that he just says somebody who wants to meet you. Maybe it's the president. Maybe it's just their yep. their chief. But I agree. Yeah, with a cliffhanger like that, it's got to be something really shocking. That's what I'm thinking. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. That's where the fingers are crossed on that one. Hashtag bring back Jones. Yep. Hashtag bring back Jones. Well, oh. I know I noticed in all these teasers, I mean, we get the detective. We get people that you're going to be going over in later yep. videos. But we have yet to see the chief or the leader or whoever. Exactly, and that's kind of what I think they're uh, holding off on. So um, thanks for your questions. Uh, everyone who's been watching, you know, make post your own questions. For the next video, I'll answer some of those. I'll go through some of those on, uh, on YouTube, and I'll answer some of the questions that you guys might have. I'd like to thank Jonathan for coming along for this. No problem. And we'll see you guys all later. It's been Pitching Ace 88. And Jonathan. Over and out. Avita Zane.